Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Raleigh Realty TV. I'm your host, Ryan Fitzgerald, and today I will be answering another important question, a question that's on the mind of a lot of realtors, a lot of real estate agents. Uh, it's something that I get asked pretty often, and that's, you know, what does it take to become a successful real estate agent? How do I become a successful real estate agent? And really, I sat back and I started thinking about it, you know, what are the eight qualities or skills that successful real estate agents have? And, and I don't think it's much different than any job, really. It's, you know, how bad do you want it? So I went ahead and wrote down these eight skills or these eight traits that make a successful real estate agent. And we'll see if you guys agree with me or not for all you realtors out there. Uh, and if, you ha if there's any other traits or qualities you think it takes, add them to the comment section below. So here are my top eight essential skills that you will need to become a successful real estate agent. And the first one is perseverance. Uh, I don't think this is too much different than any job. Just being able to persevere through the tough times, uh, through the obstacles, through the struggles, being able to just approach everything you do with a a gracious and happy and positive attitude is going to pay huge dividends. Um, you know, real estate's not as easy as people think who might just be getting into the industry. Uh, you know, they see a lot of these realtors rolling around in fancy cars and assuming that they make all this money, but the reality is only 20% of uh, real estate agents make 80% of the revenue. So don't just assume it's going to be as easy as you think. The number one perspective shift I think that happens when people become realtors is they realize they have to generate leads they're not exactly in the selling home business or the listing home business they're in the lead generation business they need clients to work with in order to get clients to work with you're going to need to generate leads just as you would if you were a listing agent trying to sell a house, you need to generate potential leads as buyers for that house. Sociability goes a long way. Being a sociable person, I think, will really, really help uh, as you, you know, grow in your real estate career. It's not going to happen overnight. Either way, being a sociable person is going to help you, again, generate leads through your network. Having intimate market knowledge goes a long way, and I think that a lot of buyers and sellers don't pay enough attention to this. You know, who truly understands the local market? You know, you might be hiring a realtor from uh, a, a city that's 30 minutes away, but do they truly understand your local market? It, it really comes down to a, a, a hyper local, data driven approach, you know. Having that first-hand knowledge of just how hot the market is really matters. The next one is a big one for me, and again, I don't think it's particular to just real estate. I think it's part of any job, uh, is time management. Uh, being able to use your time efficiently is one of the best skills or best traits that a real estate agent can have. You know, you're gonna have a lot of people who expect you to jump up at the opportunity to work for them but how qualified are these people are you going to spend six months showing them houses only to find out you've been looking in the wrong price range the whole time i think being able to appropriately and professionally setting expectations up front will not only save you time in the long run but it helps you weed out who's serious who's ready to buy a home now and who might just be looking if you don't protect your time nobody else will believe me Teaching skills. A lot of people don't realize just how much teaching realtors actually do. And I think this is a big reason why teachers end up converting into great real estate agents. They have this approach where they want to educate their clients before selling them, which goes a long way with the client. I think this hard nosed car salesman approach is really gone from the real estate industry. There's just too much information online. Uh, people really need to be educated versus sold because when they find a house they love, they're going to sell themselves on it and it's your job just to educate them to make the best decision possible.
And another great trait is networking. I think networking is a fantastic trait because it might not help you generate leads, although it definitely can. When it comes time to showcase value, this is where networking comes in super handy. When somebody asks me, Ryan, who's a great mortgage broker? Who's a great attorney? Who's a great general contractor? I want to be able to give them the best of the best and people who will take good care of them. And I think helping them in this fashion and showcasing my value in, in that way is one of the things that helps separate me from other realtors. And last but not least is advocacy. And really what I mean by fierce advocacy is just helping your client get to the closing table. Uh, whether you have to hire somebody to assist with this, just finding ways to help your client in a, in a customer service type of approach, holding their hand, helping them understand. So that's really the, the eight skills I find to be the most valuable, uh, the eight skills I think clients will appreciate the most, and the eight skills that if you're starting real estate today, you should be focused on. Uh, again, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Ryan Fitzgerald with Raleigh Realty TV. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please click subscribe or drop us a comment in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching.